Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and today we're going to take a look at the most muscular pose, in particular the crab variation of this pose. Now there's always been guys that were able to hit this pose perfectly, whether they were built structurally for it or they just trained accordingly. And of course knowing how to hit the pose is definitely important as well. On the other side of the token, there's guys like this who should definitely go for another version of the most muscular. That's why they're there. And they should, in my opinion, just steer clear of this crab position. It does nothing for them. It's not very flattering at all. Now, today we're going to take a look at some, some more famous examples of guys that, in my opinion, should definitely stay away from this pose, or should have, rather. And this here is the first guy on my list, and it's Frank Zane. And I know what some of you are thinking. I mean, he looks good in this pose. Not bad at all. But that's not what this is about. This is about in relation to his other poses. This is not a good pose for him. I mean, just take a look. There's another variation. I'm sure we can all agree. That is much better. And here's another hands-on hips variation. I mean, both. He looks much better in my opinion. And that's probably why you don't see Zane hitting this pose very much at all. But anyway, here, here's the next guy that I definitely think that should have stayed away from this pose, and this is Serge Nebre. And I'm probably getting the same response as the Zane. I mean, yes, he does look decent. Not bad at all. But cast your peepers on this version of it. No, I mean, when you have this capability of hitting the shot like this, why would you even do the crab? It just makes him look small. Not to mention that it takes from his aesthetics. Now, here's the first example of a guy that's a non-aesthetic bodybuilder on my list. Now, for all intents and purposes, Dorian should have been able to hit this pose. It really went with a big muscular physique. But, lo and behold, it just looked atrocious. His traps were very oblong and very unsymmetrical. But we can't really blame Dorian. The other, the other variations of this pose were very unflattering as well. The hands clasp, probably his best shot at this pose, but not the best. Here's Darum Charles. I always thought he looked like a funny little alien when he hit this pose. Just looks terrible. Now, I'm saying that because he has this version. Why haul out that version when you got this? This looks fantastic. Anyway, enough about Darum Charles. When was the last time you heard about Darum Charles, anyway? Why, here's a familiar face. It's the current Mr. Olympia champion. Sean Roden, and in my opinion, he should steer clear of this pose. He actually looks real good in this other one here, and I noticed this year doing battle against Phil Heath, he was very comparable when he would do his other variations, and then he would be stubborn, he'd go for that crab, and his delts would disappear, and it really takes away from these aesthetic guys. They should definitely steer clear of this pose altogether. Now, here's the last guy to be featured on this little video of mine. And he really needs no introduction anywhere in the bodybuilding world. But I'll introduce him anyway. This is Kai Green, and he looks atrocious here in this crab position. Now, this is one of the reasons, well, one of many, that he could never beat Phil Heath. They'd call for that most muscular. He'd hit this one. This one looks good. This one could do battle against Heath, especially when he was at his bigger size. But then he'd be stubborn, much like all the other guys on this list, and he'd He'd go for that most muscular crab version and it would just, he would fade away, fade away. Look at this version of it here. He looks like a friggin' alien. Anyway, no disrespect meant to any of these gentlemen on this list. I know this was a little bit of a negative video. Not, not what uh, Mark's Max Muscle's quite customary to. But hopefully I'll get some positive reaction from it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day.